Hey, Jim again with Genesis Veracity Foundation, the science of the future, old school, man. I'm with my uh, friend here, Brittany. Uh, another question, Brittany, for this presentation. What you got? Why are so many ruins of Bronze Age cities now found stranded in deserts? Were they really built in the middle of deserts? Isn't that odd? You know, you go through the Middle East and North Africa, and there'll be ruins, you know, stone, rock-hewn cities, buildings in the Middle East, southern Mesopotamia, Iran, Iraq, the lands of Elam, the ancient Sumerians, uh, clay brick buildings in the case of the ancient Sumerians, but in the middle of deserts, currently in the middle of deserts. Now, why in the world would people around 2000 BC decide to build massive cities in the middle of a desert when their food source would have been hundreds of miles away in many cases? No forests around, only a semi-annual springs, only when it rained, and little rain there whatsoever, currently five to ten inches of rain, and ancient the uh, Giza Plateau in Egypt also. You know, you look at the uh, topography and the geography around the Great Pyramid and the Giza Plateau, uh, Memphis, the Memphis area there in the uh, lower Nile, and it's all desert, all desert, all the way around that area. Now, why would they build in the middle of a desert? Great question. Well, of course, around, what's that? Doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. But, of course, they did not build in deserts during uh, at that 2000 BC time frame. The Bronze Age, because the Bronze Age actually was the Ice Age. In North Africa it was called the Aqualithic. That's the term they used because they, they marveled that there were lakes, streams, and rivers when people were living around those areas and there's rock art showing them killing hippopotamuses, fishing, where now there are stark deserts. Now that was the time when the Great Pyramid of Giza was being built and, it's, and that was during the Ice Age. When, whereas there's five inches of rain that falls in Egypt today, at that time there was 30, 40 inches of rain uh, that, which fell in Egypt at that time. And that's proven by the fact that the Nile River, at the time of the Great Pyramids were being built, the Nile River lapped at the paws of the Sphinx. The, the Giza complex was a Nile River shoreside complex where the Pharaoh would come across on his bark, which means boat, with the sunrise and sunset, with their ceremonies, and he'd uh, majestically ride up to the feet of the Sphinx, and they'd do their ceremonies. That's because at 2000 BC, the Nile was four times as wide and about 60 feet deeper, covering that whole flood valley, not currently filling in that whole floodplain. Why? Because North Africa, where now is 10 inches of rain falls, uh, 30, 40 inches of rain fell during the Ice Age. That was during the Ice Age, and the Ice Age, of course, could only have been caused by dense cloud cover worldwide. And how do you get dense cl cloud cover worldwide? By water evaporation off the bodies of water of the world. Most of the water of the world is oceans. So the oceans had to have been warmer, right? Had to have been warmer for all that evaporation to rise up and form dense cloud covers for the intense snowfall in the extreme latitudes of the globe and with the dense cloud cover in the middle latitudes where it was warmer it fell out as rainfall. So ancient Iran, Iraq, Egypt where now are deserts, the great Indian desert of northwest India, that's a desert today where around 2000 BC the Indus Valley civilization thrived. But during the Ice Age around 2000 BC it rained much more in all these regions. And and when, and, and when the Ice Age ended, it was because the oceans had cooled to about today's temperatures. That's the paradox of the whole thing. The oceans were warmer during the Ice Age. Think this through. The oceans had to have been warmer for the Ice Age, for all that to have happened. So the biblical model fits. The Darwinists can't explain the cause of the Ice Age. They'll tell you it was colder back then during the Ice Age. No. When it's, if the atmosphere is colder in the Arctic, the air holds even less water. So even less snow would have fallen out during the Arctic if it was actually colder than the Ice Age. So the key is that there was dense cloud cover during the Ice Age for all that snow. And the only way you can get all that dense cloud cover is by more evaporation off the oceans. And that warmer ocean having been fueled by the fountains of the deep of Noah's flood. The Bible template fits. We'll look into this more in future presentations. Uh, spread the word about these YouTube presentations, please, to all your friends and associates. Challenge your Darwinist friends with these facts of history, logic, and simple science. We're going to write a, a children's book about this simple science, which can flummox any Darwinist with their specious timeline. 
So tune in for subsequent uh, future presentations. Uh, Genesis Veracity Foundation, the science of the future. Old school, man.